show up. Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Chicago Bulls. And so off the tip, it's Boston. And now the opening lineup for Boston. They've got Ainge. Kevin McHale out there with Parrish. Then there's Bird. And it's Johnson in at the one spot. Now here is Ainge. Passes to McHale. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. Harper the pass to Pippen, and here is Jordan. The dish to Rodman. It's stolen by McHale. Here's Johnson. It's hauled in by the Bulls. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. Ains the pass to Parrish. On the wing, Burke. Who's back up? Feeds it to McHale. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. To the inside, Bird, and he banks in the layup. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Here's Chicago. Pippen, the pass to Harper. He kicks to Jordan. Right wing. Inside. Outside Pippen. Five on the clock. Ball's knocked loose. Longley can't get it to go. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Ainge up top. Back to Johnson. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. <laughs> and just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Pippen. Knocks it loose. And they had their chances, two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. And McHale pulls it down. The Celtics with the lead. Now, here is Ainge. Pass to McHale. Six to shoot. The Celtics working the ball around now. Now Bird. From deep three-point range. The rebound by Jordan. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Here's Johnson following the basket by Michael Jordan. Bird left side. Pass to Ainge. To the middle. Here's McHale. That one, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And a wide open look for Jordan. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Johnson surveying the floor. McHale up top. Johnson against Harper. Johnson outside, kicks it to Ainge. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Parrish. And misses it off the right side of the rim. 
Chicago with the ball. Here's Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Chicago shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And so Jordan nails both of them. Here's Johnson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And now, the first timeout called here for Boston. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Harper against Parrish. Here's Ainge. Back to Parrish. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the night here. Chicago trailing here. Five to shoot. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Here's Bird. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. McHale's got his second bucket tonight. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Bird kicks to Johnson. The pass to McHale. And McHale gets double teamed. Here's Bird. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Just such great consistency on that jump shot. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. Now here's Pippen. No points in the game yet for him. Only with the bucket. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Out to the right wing. Pass to Bird. They double-team Bird. Johnson with it. Ames, the pass to Johnson. A second chance effort, and the layup is up and in. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Here's Harper. Goes up to the strike. That one off the back iron and out. Here's Bird. Chicago grabs the miss. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. But they get it back. Here's Longley and Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got six rebounds here tonight. Johnson outside. Bird dishes to Johnson. 
over to the left wing. And McHale gets double team. Unloads. And it's Bird missing. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Yeah, and Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Ainge, the pass to Bird. Here's Johnson. Celtics passing it around. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Ainge, just one of those guys that likes to annoy an, an energetic scorer who can shoot a high percentage from the field. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw good for Ainge. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Wennington, he's checked in for Long. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. Kukoc, he's checked in for Scotty Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And then for Boston. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Redmond comes in for McHale. And it's Easting in for Dennis Johnson. Both free throws good for Ainge. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Bulls trail by five. Pass to Kerr. Obs it up for Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. And you know how that plays going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. Ainge against Jordan. Bird outside. They get a hand on it. Kukoc with the steal. All by himself. Here's Jordan. Oh, the power on that through down. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Back to Ainge. Rebounded by Wennington. Chicago with the ball. They trail by one. Here's Kerr. Good. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Here is Z-Sting. He dishes it to Walton. Jordan against Ainge. Tries it from 19. That one misses. Three shots all come up empty. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. The Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Taking two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. Vincent's checked in for Boston. And so he makes both from the line. Celtics trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Bird. Sinks the 15-footer. Bird's got six. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Pass to Simpkins. Out left of the wing. Here's Wennington. Walton defending. And it's Jordan to top the key. Shot clock at six. Kukoc pass to Simpkins. And they double up Jordan. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. 
We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Chicago with the ball. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Bushler's checked in for Chicago. Boston trailing. 141 left to play here in the first. Here is Seasting, defended by Kirk. Seasting passes to Wedman. Six on the shot clock. Here's Vincent. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Celtics lead by one. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Kerr and the pass to Bushler. Back to Kerr. Here's Kukoc. No good there. Now Boston takes it the other way. And there's the bucket from Seasting. Now it's a three-point Boston lead. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Outside, Kuko. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Walton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Vincent's shot is good. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Up top, Kukoc. We've got 13 seconds left here in the first quarter. A three ball. Offensive rebound. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Celtics leading. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. And so here is Chicago. They trail by one. They've got Kerr. Simpkins is out there with Tony Kukoc. And there's Wennington, and it's Bushler in at the two spot. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. Passes it to Simpkins. Banked in off the glass. Simpkins got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Bulls. Here's Vincent. Pass to Z-Sting. Now Bird. They double team Bird. Here's Seasting. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Kerr. And here are the Bulls now. 
And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Pass to Wennington. Back to Kerr. Here's Wennington. Outside, Kukos. From the high post. Seasting grabs the board. Kukoc has gone one of four so far. To the paint. Here's Vincent. Rebound by the Bulls. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. And you look at Kerr, just a sharp shooting role player. His game really about guts and intelligence. The Bulls have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Two shots. The free throw drops for Kerr. And Kerr drops both of them. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Vincent. The pass to Wedman. Trying to find Bird. He's got it now. Shot clock at five. Here's Vincent. From outside, off the mark. The Bulls leading by three. Here's Bushler. Seasting grabs the board. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. He gets it in there. Kerr's got six. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to Vincent. Here is Z-Sting. Bird outside. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Here's Kukoc. Can't hit that one. And it's Boston the other way. Here's Seasting. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Seasting's got his second basket. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Now here's Kukoc. D right on him. Pass to Wennington. Here's Simpkins. And Walton sends it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? For Chicago, they have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And he knocks down the first one. Chicago making some changes. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Simpkins. Pippen comes in for Tony Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Bushler. And then for Boston. Robert Parrish is checked in for Walton. McHale comes in for Wedman. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for C. Sting. He's perfect from the line this time. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Johnson outside. Here's Parrish. Dunked down by the Chief. And the ultimate combo guard. Johnson can pass with the league's best playmakers. Johnson against Harper. Kerr kicks to Pippen. A 17-footer. And he gets the jumper to drop. Pippen's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. Easy look for mid-range. He won't miss many of those lazy effort defensively. 
Harper. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Oh, such a feel shot there. The floater. Outside Pippen. Tipped away. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Celtics. It's a five-point game. He kicks it to Parrish. On the wing, Burr. The shot. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. Longley's checked in for Chicago. Jordan comes in for Steve Kerr. Austin also with the sub. Danny Ainge is checked in for Vincent. The Bulls leading by five. Pass to Jordan. Then for three. Chicago now working with the new shot clock. Rodman the second chance bucket after some strong work on the rebound. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. You gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Jordan inside, Ainge covering. And he drops it in from the low post. Jordan's got 14 points for the game. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Kicks it out to Johnson. Shoots a three. The Bulls leading by seven. Now Pippen. He has six. Good work there as it goes. Longley's got his second bucket of the game to go. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. To the inside. McHale trying to free himself. And Bird gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Pippen against Bird. Offside Pippen. To the wing on the left. And they double up Jordan. It's Pippen on the wing. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Celtics trail by seven. And here's Bird. Ten points for him. No good on that one. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out rebound. But seven to Luke Longley. Cleaning up the mess inside. No, we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Bird, and it's good for two. He's got 12. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Harper kicks to Jordan. Down low. The kick out to Harper. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Dennis Johnson on the wing. He's guarded by Harper. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Bird. You know, the rest of the D can be stretched a little thin when the double teams in place like that. Back to Harper. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It goes on Dennis Johnson. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. This is his first chance at the line tonight. The first one falls.
and Harper drops them both. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. Here's Johnson. Kicks to Parrish. Back to Johnson. Pippen against Bird. To the middle. And it will go. And the Bulls' lead is cut down to five on the bucket from McHale. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Outside Jordan. And they double up Jordan. The pass to Longley. Here is Harper. Jacks up a three. Drills the three-pointer. Harper's got five now. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Johnson against Harper. Heard left side. Parrish the pass to Johnson. Just five to shoot. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. The Celtics have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And that one falls for McHale. Chicago leading by five. Harper dishes to Pippen. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Bird. Inside, McHale. And it's Jordan with the rebound. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Pippen. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. He's got eight. Took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. That's tipped. McHale passes to Johnson. Shoots over Harper. Second shot opportunity. Got that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut to just five points on the basket from Robert Parrish. And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you until you see the ball drop through the net. Pippen kicks to Harper. Outside for Jordan. Lock at six. Let's the three fly. Here's Pippen. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for ten. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trail and trying to fight their way back. Bird, the pass to Ainge. Picks it out to McHale. The Celtics working the ball around now. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Bird. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Rodman passes to Jordan. Back to Rodman. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Rodman's got four points this quarter. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. McHale dishes to Burr. Floats one up. Second chance shot. Passes to Pierce. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Changes for Chicago. Simpkins, he's checked in for Long. And it's Kukoc in for Rodman. Redmond's checked in for the Celtics. Seasting comes in for Danny Ainge. The Bulls leading by seven. Knocked away. Here's Jordan. And Jordan slams it home. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. Harper against Johnson. Here's Seasting. 
Jordan with some nice D. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Pippen, no luck. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Johnson kicks to Parrish. McHale against Kukoc. Five on the clock. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Seasting, and it's blocked. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. And the dunk by Jordan. And what you see with Jordan, running full speed, but always in complete control. Johnson outside. With one on the clock. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. They didn't get more than a one possession lead in the period. Three points was as big as it got. They're in a terrific position now thanks to their flawless execution in the second quarter. Some excellent work offensively now has them up 11 at the break. What do you think, Shaq, about Chicago? Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, it kept the defense scrambling like eggs. Put the cheese. And I... Kenny, how'd you think the Celtics were playing? They didn't really show the effort on the boards they should have. They were out-rebounded, and now they really got their work cut out for them in the second half. If they're going to come back, they need to put in a much better effort on the glass. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. On the court right now for the Celtics. Bird is out there with McHale. Then it's Ames. Then there's Johnson. And it's Parrish in its center, locking down the middle. And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. Bulls have made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. First free throw is good. Good on both. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by 13. To the paint. And Kevin McHale, the bucket on the assist by Johnson. McHale is a deadly efficient shooter. His 55% career shooting percentage. One of the all-time best. Outside Pippen. Shot. 
shoots over Bird, and McHale pulls it down. And McHale's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. To the inside, Johnson double team on the wing. Bird, he's guarded by Harper. The putback, it's good on the putback. Parrish has got it back down to single digits for the Celtics. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. To the paint. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Pass to Parrish. And it's Parrish with the jam. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Outside, Rodman. And they double up Jordan. Shot clock at six. Down low, Simpkins. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got five assists tonight. Celtics trail by 11. Johnson outside. No good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. And here comes the break. Here's Rodman. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Bird. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got rebound number five here tonight. And that one is good. Pippen's got 12 in the game. That's their third straight make off an assist. Harper against Johnson. Inside. That is good. And the Bulls lead is kept back down to 13 points. And that one coming from Parrish. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Chicago making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for Simpkins. Bushler comes in for Scotty Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And the Celtics also making a change. Vincent's checked in. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Kicks it out to Kerr. But they'll get another chance. Another shot. Excellent D there from Parrish. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First free throw is good. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Bushler. Celtics also with a sub. Walton's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Bulls leading by 11. Pass to Jordan. High arcing shot. Count that bucket. Jordan's got 20. Playing at his tempo, his pace. He's been dialed in all night. Ainge against Jordan. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. You start to lose focus, and it makes matters worse. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Here's Chicago, 13-point lead. Poke loose. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. 
Over to the wing. Outside Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. And Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Bird left side. Well timed pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Bird's got 18 points in the game. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Kerr, the pass to Rodman. That's blocked by Bird. Celtics trail by 11. From the wing, it's hauled in by the Bulls. Rodman's got six rebounds in the game. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic, which struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. The league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now, sports is a microcosm of society as a whole. We all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, D.A. Kukoc against Bird. Kukoc against the bucket. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Vincent, the pass to Walton. Dishes it to Bird. again yeah and every generation or so a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar folks that's Larry Bird the Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here First one falls for him. Chicago making a switch here. Longley's checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. Redmond's checked in for Ainge, and it's Easting in for Vincent. And he makes both free throws. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. He kicks to Jordan. To the left side wing. Outside, Kukoc. Offensive rebound. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid range and fail to connect. That is good. And the Bulls' lead is cut down now to just nine on the basket from Bird. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Wennington passes to Jordan. Seven foot shot. Good. He hits the jump shot. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Seasting passes to Bird. Here is Seasting. Now the pass to Parrish. Goes up on the wing. The shot by Seasting, no good. Chicago leading by 11. Outside, Kukoc. To Kerr passes it to Wennington. Now here's Jordan. And good that time. Jordan's got 24. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Here is Zesting, defended by Kerr. Bird outside. And he lobs it up toward the rim. 
fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Kukoc. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Kukoc has got six. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. Fades away. No good off the back of the rim. Went to the fadeaway. Didn't need to, though. Probably cost him some points. The shot's good from Jordan. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's time been a tremendous out. job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Now a timeout called by Boston. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Pippins checked in for Chicago. And then for Boston, Mikhail comes in for Parrish. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for Larry Bird. Here is Seasting. Now the feed to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. To stop the drought. And Kerr pulls it down. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Pippen with the bucket. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Here is Seasting. Pass to Johnson. He feeds it to Walton. And it's tonight, and he gets it back. Here's Kukoc. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Wedman, and stolen by Jordan. Kerr kicks to Jordan. Drills it from outside. Jordan's got 11 points here in just the second half. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Now a timeout called by Boston. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Von Harper, he's checked in for Jordan. Johnson, the pass to Walton. Here is Zesting. Kukoc with the steal. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Here's Kerr. The rebound by the Celtics. Johnson outside. To end the run, the pass to McHale. A second chance effort, and Johnson puts it in. Johnson's got his second basket of the night. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. Harper the pass to Kukic. Back to Harper. Got a piece of it. Walton with the steal. And here's the fast break. Seasting with the bucket. Seasting's got six. And what started it all, terrific anticipation on the defensive end. Most teams now are looking to play with pace. No better way to ignite the break than off a turnover. Shots good by Pippen. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Johnson outside. Johnson draws the double. McHale against Kukoc. McHale passes to Seasting. Shot clock at five. McHale misses. Chicago leading by 22. Pushing it up. And that one is stuffed right through. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Johnson outside. The 
and there's the pass to Seasting. Three pointer, and the last second attempt doesn't fall. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's Chicago opening up a huge gap. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Pippen is out there with Harper. Then it's Longley. Then it's Rodman. And it's Kukoc in at the three. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Seasting passes to Johnson. That one drops for him. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. Harper with the ball. Right side, Kukoc. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And they pick up two. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and, and the terrific court vision. Passes it to Walt. Here is Z-Sting. Feeds it to McHale. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pippen, the pass to Kukoc. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Pass to Longley. Now here's Pippen, guarded close. A shot off that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. And there's the bucket from Seastain. The Bulls leading by 20. Outside, Kukos. Pass to Longley. From seven. Good as the jump shot falls. Longley's got four points this quarter. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Johnson against Harper. They double-team Johnson. Poked away, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Boston making some changes. Parrish is checked in for Walton. Bird comes in for Wedman, and Ainge is subbed in for Seasting. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Six to shoot. Here's Bird. Rodman with the rebound. Rodman's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Kukoc. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. A much different player here in the second half. He's taking advantage of what the defense allows. Now here's Johnson. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Bird's shot is good. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Pippen against Ainge. Got it. Good job in the low post. Here is Harper. Quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And it's Pippen with the jam. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Johnson outside. They double-team Johnson. Here's Ainge. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Wow, they made every free throw here in the second half. And 
and the first one at the line is good. The Bulls making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Both free throws good for Mange. Chicago leading by 20. Pippen kicks to Harp to the middle. Longley. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. To the inside. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Rodman. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. So it's Boston now. There's the pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. Pocket six. Back to Bird. Johnson outside. A small movement by Boston. Gets a hand on it, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. And Jordan has it in the corner. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Jordan's got 14 points here in the second half. Johnson outside. Inside. Here's McHale. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. Harper kicks to Pippen. Here's Longley, and it goes down two points. Longley's got eight points in the quarter. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Johnson against Harper. McHale dishes to Johnson. Back to McHale. Passes to Johnson. Now a Rodman covering. And here's Bird for three. But they recover it. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Ainge against Jordan. Upside Pippen. Pippen is doubled. Harper against Johnson. Here's Longley. Some solid defense there from McHale. Here's Boston now. Here's Bird. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. At the line for the Celtics, Larry Bird, two shots. And he makes the first. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Simpkins, he's checked in for Longley. Sally comes in for Dennis Rodman. Bushler's checked in for Pippen. And it's Brown in for Harper. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Jones checked in for Parrish. Williams comes in for McHale. Vincent's checked in for Ainge. And it's Brown in for Dennis Johnson. Bird hits them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Outside Jordan. Pass to Simpkins. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D that time from Jones. Here's Bird. Basket counts. Bird's got six in the quarter. And, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. That's the Bush. Now. Here's Simpkins, defended by Jones. 
down low. Here's Jordan. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Jordan's got 34 points. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now the pass to Bird. They double team Bird. The kick out to Brown. Left side Jones. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. one is off. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Longley's checked in for Simpkins. Rodman comes in for Sally. Pippen's checked in for Bushler. And it's Harper in for Brown. Then for the Celtics, McHale's checked in for Williams. Ainge comes in for Vincent. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for Brown. He hits the second from the line. The Bulls leading by 22. Harper with the ball. Jones covering. And it's good. Two points. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist by Bird. Bird's got three assists tonight. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Now Pippen to the paint. Here's Jordan. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Jordan's got 18 points now here in the second half. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. And it's blocked. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Pippen. With the finger roll, the graceful finish from Scotty Pippen. You yeah, gotta respect the quickness of Pippen. Just terrific at getting to the right spot there in transition. Johnson with the bounce pass. Bird kicks to Jones. Celtics passing it around. Ainge up top. McHale outside. Four on the shot clock. Here's Bird. Chicago grabs the miss. Longley's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And slam dunk by Jordan. And right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. Johnson draws the double. Mikhail kicks to Ainge. To the inside, Jones. Good D by Jordan. Here's Chicago. A pull up. Ainge grabs the board. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. This has been a one sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got 40 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you know, for a guy who sat on the bench his senior year of high school and was barely noticed by college recruiters, boy, DJ's proved a lot of people wrong. And that one falls for Johnson. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. James Edwards checked in for Longley. Sally comes in for Rodman. Bushler's checked in for Michael Jordan. And it's Brown in for Ron Harper. Smith checked in for the Celtics. Brown comes in for Ainge.
and both free throws good for Johnson. And here is Brown. Down low, here's Pippen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Dennis Johnson. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Free throw good from Pippen. Boston making a switch here. Williams has checked in. So he gets them both. Here's Brown. Passes it to Smith. Back to Brown. Pass to Mikhail. Sally with the rebound. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. A floater and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Shooting for Chicago, Scotty Pippen. Two shots. Free throw good from Pippen. Walton's checked in for Kevin McHale. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. It's Brown on the win. Back to Williams. Pass to Brown. Shot clock at six. From deep. It's all in by the Bulls. We've got 108 left to play here in the fourth. And the pass to Bushland. Pippen against Brown. Let's a floater go. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Boston called for the foul. At the line for two. Free throw good from Pippen. And both free throws good for Pippen. Round with it. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Williams passes to Brown. Pass to Walton. Six on the shot clock. Here's Williams. Second shot opportunity. It's hauled in by Edwards. And the Bulls with possession. They're on a 17-7 run. 
pass to Bushler. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Back to Brown. Jones against Edwards. Here's Pippen. And he makes that one. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.